Laravel 8 introduces a new schema dump command, which you can use to speed up your migrations. Let's hop right in. So first off, I have a migration which creates 100 fake tables. Each table has an ID, a name, a description, and some timestamps. My second migration create, um, edits those 100 fake tables to add soft deletes. The third migration edits those 100 fake tables again, this time dropping the description column. And my fourth migration, it creates a roles table and inserts 10 fake roles. So if we migrate as normal, do artisan migrate fresh, we can time out how long this takes. And in our case, it's about 4.1 seconds. So not too bad, but I think it could be a bit faster. So what we'll do is we could use the art schema dump command. And what this will do is this will generate a MySQL schema dump in the database schema folder. And in here will be our MySQL dump with all of our tables. So our hundred fake tables. And at the very bottom, we have our roles table, the users table, which came with the default install. And then Laravel has also inserted our six migration records for us. So if we were to run art migrate again, there's nothing to migrate, so we're up to date. So we have a schema file generated for us, but how do we use it? Well, anytime Laravel goes to migrate your database and it sees that your migrations table is empty and that you have a schema file, it'll use that schema file instead of running your migrations. So we're going to run migrate fresh again, this time with our schema file. We'll see that we've dropped all the tables because we used fresh. And then the migration table is created, which is like the first step whenever Laravel uh, migrates and there's no tables that exist. And then again, because we have a schema file in the schema folder and because our migrations table was empty, uh, Laravel imports our schema rather than running our migrations. So we can see that everything ran. And instead of taking that 4.1 seconds, we've dropped it down to 1.5. And then if we go over here and check our database, we can do show tables. Oh, sorry, we need to use our database first. Laravel, uh, what did I call it? Lar video, Laravel schema dump. Whew, okay, show tables. There we go, we have our 100 fake tables, our migrations, our roles, and our users. We can do select star from roles. Oh, sorry, from migrations. And we can see that the six migration records were inserted. All right, and then if we check our roles table, we'll actually find that the roles table is empty. So we have an empty set here. So that's because in our schema file, there was no statements telling the database to insert our, our fake roles, our default roles. So Laravel provides a event that we can use to hook into this schema loading, and it's called the schema loaded event. And just for reference, there's also a schema dumped event. So if you want to do something whenever you dump the schema, that's available. Uh, but for our case, we want we only care about the schema loaded event. And whenever that's fired, we're going to call our handle schema loaded listener, which is just an empty listener that I've made. So in here, we can do whatever we want. I'd recommend you call a seeder or do whatever you need to do to seed your default data. So for the purposes of the video, we're just going to copy our role insert, paste it in here. And then if we come back and run our migrate again, it'll import the schema as before, but then it'll call this hook schema loaded, which will call the listener, which will run our fake roles. So we come back, we do select star from roles, and there we have our roles are inserted into our database. So the schema dump command is really useful. It can save you a lot of time, especially during your if you're doing tests with a real database, uh, which I recommend. Um, it'll basically reduce your test startup time to usually within a couple seconds. And if you have a, an application that's uh, you know you've been building for months or even years, you're going to have a lot of migrations in there, which tweak existing tables. And you don't need to keep rerunning those every time. All you really care about is the final state of that schema. So use the dump command. Um, let Laravel dump out that file for you and this import the current state. And then you can import whatever fake data you want and it'll speed everything up. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti. And I'll see you next time.